Okay, um, now let's come back to the third protein synthesis inhibitor, which is lincomycin. So lincomycin is um, a combination of the um, a glycone yeah, and also a sugar a molecule, right? A, a weird one, actually a strange sugar molecule, we come to that. It's isolated, to, uh, isolated from streptomyces lincolnesis, all right? And the sugar component is actually, if you see this is a thiomethyl, yeah? is um, methyl alpha thiolincosamide. Lincosamide is semidide. This uh, a bit strange sugar. I think it's only available. It's only uh, available uh, through this bacteria. Yeah. Okay. So rare eight carbon sugar. All right. And the bridge between the a glycone, the cytocycle, and also the sugar is is uh, by an amide. Yeah, amide bridge. Okay. Uh, the second cousins, a second derivative of lincomycin is the more popular clindamycin. Yeah? This is a semi-synthetic uh, derivative. The only change, they are, the, 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 they are both the same. The only change is between this is the, in lincomycin is the OH group, in clindamycin is the chloro group. Yeah? Okay. Um, similar to um, earlier, yeah, similar to um, amphenicols, yeah, it's uh, the clinical use of clindamycin are limited. All right, is usually reserved for um, semi synthetic derivatives. Uh, sorry, is it is usually reserved for uh, penicillin resistant gram positive. Yeah. Because um, first, it can actually cause clindamycin, disinclomycin can actually cause this pseudomembranous colitis in some elderly patients. All right. Um, and the second one is because it can also lead to some patients, yeah, to, to, to Stephen Johnson's uh, syndrome, which is uh, this. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I've seen this earlier. Um, so it's not, it's, it's not the thing that you really want for your patients. So the use of this clindamycin or lincomycin are actually quite limited in hospital settings. It's only reserved for really, really, um, it's, really it's usually for the last resort. Okay. So where does it work? It works at the 50S ribosome. It actually, it will inhibit um, 50S ribosomes. And with, with a chlorine, with a chloro group, it is more hemophilic, therefore it's more bioactive than lincomycin. All right, so just have a it's very short chemistry for clindamycin, yeah. At pH at a strong pH, pH zero to four, what happens is that that uh, methyl thio group, methyl thio group at a, um, at a sugar moiety, will be removed. All right, will be displaced with an OH group. All right. Um, and then uh, at a higher pH, uh, alkaline pH of pH, pH 9, yeah, two things could happen. The first thing would be that uh, this amide bridge gets um, disconnected, all right? Um, therefore, uh, leaving out the heterocycle. Again, this is again, if you see, this is like amino acid as well. And also the sugar. Moiety. Um, the second route, you know, that could be taken at a higher pH, um, is that it could actually lead to the displacement of the chloro group to an OH group. Yeah. So pay attention to the configuration here. The configuration here shows that this is from the going into the paper, into the plane. And this is coming at the back.